What are the different kinds of vaccines? Many types of vaccines help protect us from infection and disease. How are these vaccines different? To understand the different vaccines, you must first know about antigens. An antigen imitates the germ that your body plans to fight. This teaches your immune system how to protect against the real germ, all without the risk of disease from the real germ. Antigens can vary. For instance, an antigen can be a weakened germ, or a dead germ, or a tiny part of an actual germ. The type of vaccine depends on the type of antigen it uses. There are six main types of vaccines. Live attenuated vaccines, inactivated vaccines, subunit vaccines, toxoid vaccines, viral vector vaccines, and mRNA vaccines. Live attenuated vaccines contain live but very weakened germs, making it much easier for our immune systems to quickly fight off. Live attenuated vaccines tend to provide the best protection because they are the most similar to the natural infection. Typically, only two doses of live attenuated vaccines are needed to get good protection for an entire lifetime. Measles vaccine is a live attenuated vaccine. Inactivated vaccines contain only dead germs. Inactivated vaccines don't provide as much protection as live attenuated vaccines, so inactivated vaccines often need booster doses to maintain good protection over time. Most flu vaccines are inactivated vaccines. Subunit vaccines don't contain the entire germ they protect against, just small pieces of the germ. But sometimes these small pieces need to be combined with something else for your immune system to respond enough to develop good protection. So there are many kinds of subunit vaccines, depending on how they are made and with what they are combined. For example, recombinant vaccines, like hepatitis B, are made by putting a small part of the germ into special cells, such as yeast, to make copies. And conjugate vaccines, like Hib, attach small pieces of the germ to a protein to carry it into the body. And there are many other subunit vaccines that combine with other organic pieces. Toxoid vaccines, like tetanus, don't contain the germ at all. Instead, they protect against the toxins produced by the germ. And thanks to decades of research and advances in vaccine technology, two newer types of vaccines were successfully used against COVID, viral vector vaccines and mRNA vaccines. Both the viral vector and the mRNA vaccines contain no COVID virus or parts of COVID virus. Instead, these vaccines contain instructions for your own cells to create copies of a small part of the COVID virus. What part? The spike protein, the target for your immune system to attack. The main difference between viral vector and mRNA vaccines is how these instructions are carried. Viral vector vaccines put the instructions in a different virus, not COVID that has been modified to be completely harmless. mRNA vaccines don't use a virus. They surround the instructions with a small layer of fat cells. All these different types of vaccines have the same purpose, to help your body learn to protect itself against dangerous diseases as safely and as effectively as possible.